The chocolate rubies? peanut butter milk chocolate rubies. Oh. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Woo! Oh, okay, um, what's going on? Hey! hey, hey, hey. Dude, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's up? Yeah. yeah. What happened? It was it was John Gusenhoven, a very good man and a gentleman who has been inspiring us and, and supporting us and uh, thinking of investing in us for a while. Yeah, we reach our goal. Yeah, right? <laughs> this puts everything in the hands of the people. The government is becoming irrelevant. The mm -hmm. world is becoming liberated. And the other individual backers, uh, you know, yeah, $15 here, $10 there, $40 here, you know, yes, we made it. And now it's awesome dude, that we can just have a strings-free uh, investment in a project and make more money quicker than a venture-backed, you know, company. Uh, just by having a bunch of guys hacking together in their basement, and I guess now we've moved out of the subterranean layers. We're on, we're on the like level of most people now. <laughs> <laughs> and we made this happen, dude. This is awesome, and I don't think any of this could have come together without like the participation of everybody. And it's it's just really cool that we live in a time where this kind of it's kind of like you know deliberate fundraising uh, for really for the benefit of mankind is possible. I think that's, that's it's the future awesome. of creation. It's yeah. the future of yeah. creation, exactly. It's it's unadulterated Dude, pure creativity really ideas awesome. without strings. I no limits. Stupid. Everybody on three, two, one. We are Woo, John. We're all here. Everyone say hi. Hey John! Hey, hey, hey John! You're hey. awesome, man! You're elite! <laughs> <laughs> You're elite, man. You're now an elite hacker. <laughs> He's been a mentor to me. Uh, and it feels amazing. And we we're we're standing on top of the wave that the whole internet has pushed today. And that you know you helped get started just like the moment that we met was the first moment that we felt like we really had someone who was starting to believe in us and help us and back us. You get to be a whole level of the game that teaches any lesson that you want. You get to be a character that can transmit knowledge. Yeah, you get to mentor future generations of hackers. It, this is this is this is the future of angel investing because he's he's living proof that an investor does not have to be at odds with the crowdsourcing movement and that what we've what we've been able to do with our fans is turn a team that he was interested in that is promising into a movement that can partner with its with its mentors and its backers to go farther than even uh, the fan community might imagine to take. So we're we're really grateful, John, and uh, thank you. Let's build the future together. It's required. We will. <laughs> Thank you, John. And everybody's back to work. <laughs> <laughs> and you, sir, what are you working on? Always be coding. And what are you working on? Uh, letting everyone know how much we win right now, pretty much. I'm working on being excited and uh, telling everyone that we just met our goal and we're going to build Code Hero. It's going to be amazing. The world is going to change. Show me your ampness. My ampness? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And you, sir, show me your ampness. Woo! <laughs> yes, sir. Alex has been going for so long. It's been like just Alex years? Just gonna, like, three years? Die right now. <laughs> I don't know. He's just going to keep going. There is no end. This is just the beginning. Yeah. There is no end. Well, there's no end for him. This represents a fundamental transition. He's just going to keep going and going and going and going.
at Two Player Productions, tweet and back us, and they're our whole inspiration for sticking with it as a game development company. Their, their, their sort of study of Penny Arcade, the Penny Arcade series, has been, for me, kind of my fuel. That's made me think, someday it's not going to be me eating ramen alone in the dark for days on end, trying to get something ready to show at a conference. Someday we're going to play Penny Arcade and make it as a civilization, so to speak. So, uh, I, it's a perfect example, I think, of how um, indie game developers and their crowdsourcing revolution that, is, that has happened are not necessarily always have to be at odds with mentors and investors and people that want to help you, um, because they're really sources of advice and mentorship. So we hope that uh, you know, if, if this Kickstarter succeeds as, as as much as it already has, or even further, um, and if we're able to to show maybe in, in our relationship with somebody like John the, the positivity that can come from fans and funders all coming together, um, then it could be a good thing not just for our project, but for other game developers to get the very best uh, support and, and backing that they can get. Because the games need making, they just do, and they're not going to make themselves. And it's not just a matter of money. Um, it's been really amazing to see people like Notch kind of reach out and kind of um, offer guidance to younger game companies. And, and like they had us at their indie showcase at Minecon, which was huge. And uh, we'd like to see um, more of that happen, where you know, the up and comers in the game industry, we are really looking to learn from the, the lessons and wisdom of the, the, the deities of, of, of gaming, so to speak. So let's let's see what's possible. Let's hack the planet and uh, thank you. Yeah.